What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to take a look at some more birthright coverage for you, a little something different from our recent videos uh, and kind of a preview of some things that we'll be covering down the road as well. So one of the main sort of expansions for the setting were these books called Player's Secret, um, which was kind of a little of a bundle too, it's not just the book. Um, so basically for some of the more popular realms out there, um, typically all the political ones, and even just a few outside of uh, the Anwirian domain, so you have a little bit of uh, Rurik and some Kanasi things as well, and even Brecht, I believe, is in there uh, somewhere. So it was a series, and they had quite a few of these, as you can kind of tell. Um, and they were relatively inexpensive, so, and there's, you know, there's um, sort of divided opinion on these. So on the one hand, there's a lot, but uh, obviously there's also a lot of domains, so there's really still, um, even though Birthright had a relatively short product run of I think like two years or so um, so there's again it's amazing that we got what we got so on the one hand but on the other hand there's tons and tons of domains that didn't get one would it make sense for every domain to get one no and as you can kind of tell it's player secrets of right so it really only be the domains that players can actually play now it would have been interesting to see like a DM's secrets one of the non playable ones for players that that would have been an interesting series but I guess they never wanted to do that so now, interestingly, so again, the, the positives of these, so we'll just kind of, and we'll take a quick look at some of these here, um, and eventually we will have a sort of a detailed series on these individually, but more on that later in the video. So the positives, relatively cheap. I think, you know, if we flip over the MetaWear one, um, go back to the good old prices, right? Um, so 1995, 1997, seven bucks for these. So on average, like five, six, seven, maybe eight bucks for some of the, the bigger ones. Um, so they're all relatively the same. So really, really cheap um, overall. Um, but uh, so you have that. You do get, you know, if, you, if you're loving uh, the realm that you're going to pick, you know, if you're sp setting up a campaign there, like this is the one you want to play, then yeah, these are awesome, right? You get for, for so little dollar cost, you get so much information on your chosen realm and really just helps you flesh it out because while the, um, the entries in the uh, Ruins of Empire book from the core set are nice, they're usually just a page, maybe two pages if you're lucky. And while they do provide a good description, um, it does leave a lot up to the player and the DM to sort of flesh out the rest here. So if you're playing uh, wholly a campaign in here, whether you're actually running it or just adventuring in it, um, there's, a, there's a lot to find here for the players and really DMs as well tons of adventure hooks so again if you're if you're struggling to come up with things from that just because you don't have enough uh, experience or um, info from the what the core box provides um yeah this is this is a seven dollar um multi-part adventure for for so many of these realms right plenty of like i said plenty of adventure hooks you can create whole campaigns from this short like one shots uh, etc there's just so much here so you know this whole series um for relatively low cost back then you could have had the whole thing and really just had so many um, uh, adventures and campaign ideas to, to really never run out of that for for Birthright. So the positives there, um, also, uh, and speaking of the positives, so we'll just take the first one here, MetaWear, as an example. Um, so typically, there's going to be your book. Uh, we'll cover that in a second. But the nice thing is here, you usually get like a full color map of either like a political building, castle, temple, whatever it is, temple in MetaWear's case. You know, it tells you where that's located, um, which you would already know. But then the neat thing is, again, more maps here. Uh, this is what I like. I wish we could have gotten this for literally every single realm, but just a detailed color um, map here of the three provinces of this realm and exactly like where the villages are, the roads, um, other important areas, and just more on the geography of it kind of blown up there. So this would have been awesome, again, if we would have truly gotten a... Um, uh, a map of birthright ultimately with like every possible square inch of land covered like that. I just really like that. So, um, and then here you have it yet again. So on this one, they've kind of blown that up twice. So, um, you don't get that with every realm like that, but again, you go from what you see in the, the core book to something like this already helps. But then when you blow it up like this and it just, like I said, it fleshes out everything. You got where all the temple holdings are, um, the roads, like I said, other um, important things here, like so castles, fortifications, etc. Um, and things like, you know, even if you weren't, oops, even if you weren't necessarily jumping into, <coughs> excuse me, jumping into like some of the official adventure hooks, but like if you, if you just see things like, ooh, the, um, you know, the lost tower, what is that about? Maybe we'll have like a little adventure out there and then we could build around that. Um, the Elven Cairn, um, the Goblin Cairn, interesting things there. Let's 
let's let's figure that out. Let's go do some adventuring. Um, the Silver Woods, the Dragon Tower. Mm, all right, I'm sensing a theme here. There's lots of these t different towers throughout the realm. What's that all about? Um, uh, I believe Alamir is the capital too. It gives you kind of a rough scale as well. So this domain really is probably, um, if we had to guess, probably not quite 100 miles across. Um, so you have that. Uh, again, your ports, trade routes, gives you just so many interesting ideas on what that is. Um, and then sort of a city map here as well. So interesting layout. But so you get this as part of the jacket sort of. And really what you could do uh, potentially as a player, it doesn't quite work because it would be revealing some information, but it almost can be kind of like a, a DM screen for players if they really wanted one. I know one of the cool things back in second was there were uh, these um, extra products that they had for like the different classes. So you could have like your own little mini so finder screen, pre-screen, different things like that, just different little products. But um, so anyway, so you have that. And then um, you would typically get then a book like this. So um, and then roughly about 30 pages on average was the length here. So nothing too extensive, but really gives you a background on where the realm is at now um, versus just the basic entry in the core product um, where where the. The history of it is, uh, again, jumping into the, the actual detailed history, some of the, just a deep dive on, again, geography, topography, um, the notable NPCs, uh, you know, allies and enemies, concerns that the realm is facing, things like that, um, the major points of interest, again, a lot of uh, adventure hooks, talks about the major towns, temples, fortifications, things like that, gives you a province breakdown, other sites of interest, so again, whether you're actually running the realm or, you know, maybe thinking of some adventure hooks here. So again, there's, there's stuff for DMs in here too. So don't, don't mistake this as just players secrets, but you know, just interesting information to flesh out things. So, you know, history of um, nobility in the, the realm, you know, different holdings, um, some of the actual uh, holdings here and just more detail on those as well. Again, so there's just, uh, it really just fleshes out some of these realms and even, Though this is one of the smaller realms in the southern area of Anuir, um, it just it takes it from maybe not so interesting a domain um, to oh no I should maybe consider playing this as a uh, as a priest character. Uh, you get your uh, your your ruler as described in the book. Um, a lot of these books too tend to um, set it up to where whatever NP or sorry whatever PC slash NPC was was named as the ruler in the description in the core book is maybe has been murdered or has stepped down or something and you're essentially taking the reins so you can always take that approach as well you get again your notable and uh, npcs lieutenants really fleshes them out with sort of a full description so always useful again more detail on the holdings the church itself so it's um, again this is a meadow is a realm where it's a theocracy so that kind of goes hand in hand with being the political ruler as well but then here yeah so there more deep dive on the different types of holdings too, but you always get a couple of pages of this, which is the gold mine for adventure hooks and campaigns and stuff. So rumors and plots, again, a lot of that can be for the DM as well. Ooh, the swamp thing. Um, so Gilder's plot, spies, treasure, right? Um, even if you're not running the realm uh, as a domain, right? Maybe you are as the region want to get some treasure, but perfect adventure hook right here. Maybe um, you're adventuring in the realm and you've been contacted to maybe do some treasure hunting. And then strategy and advice. So it's a fun little read, um, not too extensive, um, uh, to, to to the point where it's just it's you're taking on, you know, like you're buying a history book, uh, like a thick, you know, university type history book for every realm. But you have this, and it's just super useful. Now the downsides, uh, the quality varies between them a little bit, certainly. Um, so I mean, none of these, not all of these, are obviously going to be like top shelf um, uh, products. I would say for the most of the Anuirin ones, certainly the they're they're usually up there in quality, um, and especially for the more popular domains, uh, tend to be a lot of the southern coast ones certainly. But you have things like um, Rosone certainly is a great one. Halskapa, if you want to get to the the Brecht, you even did some Kanasi things here. So you even got the dwarves. So Tuarhevel, if you want to learn how to run an Elven realm, Ilian, you basically get the whole southern coast um, minus uh, Dimed, which is unfortunate. Um, Tornin, Kurain, Stjordvik, Aria, uh, Talinier is another great one. So you just get a lot of good things here. Again, the downside was, you know, TSR obviously released a lot of things, and we can certainly, it's a whole other video talking about 
the ups and downs of TSR. Certainly, they just released a ton of material, not always, again, great quality. But overall, again, if you're a Birthright fan, and as we've you know talked about in countless videos that we've done so far, um, amazing settings, so many cool things going on, so many unique ways to play the game and really just expand the potential of D&D in general. So you, you, you have... Um, an interesting uh, set of products here. There's definitely value in these. Now, the, the downside is nowadays um, people are you know asking for ridiculous prices online for this stuff. So you're not going to find these for like seven bucks anymore. Um, usually they're they're fairly expensive. You know, I would say, you know, if you can find them for 30 or less, make sure they're the originals too. I hate all the like reprinting crap that goes on online. Um, I, I am not a favorite. Like if you can't get it with the original jacket and all that stuff for all that extra detail, um, then it's not worth it. But overall, a great series, highly recommended. We'll have individual ones here um, coming soon um, and some goodies for our Patreon members as well. So I hope you enjoyed. Let us know your favorite books as well and if you what your thoughts are on the, the Player Secrets books for Birthright. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. Um, leave a comment. And if you want to see videos like this early, head on our Patreon, um, and there'll be lots of other goodies there as well. And the support does help. Thanks so much, guys.